that King Charles is keen to hit the reset button and reconcile with Prince Harry amid reports that the US-based prince is looking to return to the UK. In recent years, the tension has heightened within the royal family following comments made by Prince Harry in both his memoir Spare and the Duke and Duchess's Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan. So is a palace peace deal in the offing? Let's speak to top royal insider lady Victoria Harvey. Victoria, great to have you on the show. Do you think that there is hope for this relationship? Um, yes, I mean... I do. At the end of the day, he is the king's son. He is the second son um, in line to the throne. I mean, after William's children. And um, it's very important, I think, that they make amends. If that was going to happen soon, I don't know. Um, would Harry move back? Would Meghan agree to move back? I don't really see that likely, but anything is possible. Yes, I mean, Victoria, is a reconciliation possible whilst Harry and Meghan are still married? I'm not hearing the volume. Oh, dear. We need to, I could shout if you like, Victoria. I think it's a fascinating debate, this. I would absolutely love to see the King and Harry to reconcile. As Victoria just said, they are father and son. So not only is this drama bad news for their relationship and emotionally painful. It's also bad news for the monarchy and it's a headache for the king. It is a political and personal problem. And I do think it's probably Charles's greatest challenge. Uh, but I do see two stumbling blocks. I think one, the other half, she who must be obeyed, uh, indoors, Meghan Markle. I won't call her Woko Mono because that's on PC. But uh, there's another stumbling block, I think. And it's Prince William. I think Prince William could be an issue because he is reported to be boiling with rage about Harry's behaviour in the last few years. Well, I'm delighted to say Victoria's back online and we've put 10p in the metre, Victoria. Um, do you think that William could be a barrier to reconciliation? Because you've told me in the past that he is known to be furious with his brother. Well, I think Spare really hasn't helped a lot of things between their relationship, you know, William and Harry, but everything that he kind of put out about William, he didn't really appreciate any of that. So I think it's going to be quite challenging, for sure. I don't think it's going to be an easy ride for Harry at all. Um, do you know how much emotional turmoil Charles has been through in regards to Harry? Because he is fond of his son, isn't he? This is not only an issue um, of, you know, concern for the monarchy, the institution. This is a father that has suffered. At the end of the day, you know, like, like I said, he's his father, but he has to also play the role of the monarch now. And he has to be, it has to be sort of tough love as well. But, you know, everyone is going to be looking at are they capable of bringing back, you know, this the, the unity in the family, which is so important, which has really been lacking. Um, we saw that during the coronation and Jubilee and, you know, just even seeing the balcony looking very empty. I think a lot of people have noticed that and would rather see the family unified and together again. Uh, well, look, we do hope they can patch things up. But listen, let's talk about David Beckham now, Victoria, if we can. Uh, he, of course, yeah. won so much with Manchester United. He was at one point England's talismanic captain. A new Netflix series uh, is about to drop about his life and career. Do you think that he's a true British icon? Look, he is a, he is a massive icon, um, not just in football, but I, I, he is a, a, he is one of the biggest icons um, of sport. And um, you know, it's been kind of a long time coming. I think he has been wanting to have this knighthood. There's been talk about it for the last two decades, um, as as far as I've I've heard. So, you know, I think he does deserve it. And I hope he gets it this time. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you know, David? Uh, we've met, you know, we've met sort of on the scene, uh, friends in common, and just always seems like 
very pleasant kind of person. And um, I think you know what he's done with charities, with, with everything that he's done in his life. I think it's sort of at this point in his career, like 10 years after he left the game, and it's sort of like the right timing, I think, to be knighted. Uh, yes, of course, um, we know that uh, a big aspect of his life is his family. And that marriage, I mean, that's the bedrock of his brand, isn't it, as well as his life? Yeah, I think, what is it, 26 years they have been married, which is very impressive, especially for a couple to be in the spotlight like they are. Um, but they complement each other, and it's, it's sort of like it's their brand, you know, Bex. It's the Posh and Bex brand, and I think without each other, they are not as powerful. Well, well, indeed so. And it seems to be a happy marriage after what was a hard time early in, in their marriage. And of course, the affair with Rebecca Luz, well, well publicized. Do you think he's kept the trouser snake in order since? <laughs> I have no idea. But I think, look, a lot of guys, a lot of men have affairs. People got busted, you know. Um, it was just a little unfortunate. And for men in the public eye like that, it, it's it's very daring, I would say, for them to even try and embark on any kind of affair. Yeah, no, indeed. I, I, I happen to know from uh, good authority, he's, he's the ultimate family man. So good luck to him. And just lastly, um, what about the future for Posh and Beckham? I mean, will, we, will we be talking about them in 10, 20 years time? I think they will still be going. I think they'll still be the Posh and Beck in their 70s. You can see it, right? Um, it'll still be up there, the, the grandchildren by then. And um, I, I just think they're like one of the most iconic couples um, that we have in England. Uh, well, look, good luck to the pair of them. I must say I'm a, a great admirer of both of them, as am I of you, Victoria. We look forward to catching up soon. Top Royal Insider, broadcaster, entrepreneur, model, you name it, Lady Victoria Harvey.